Using a single giant pump to pipe water right to the top of a building as tall as the Burj Khalifa would be dangerous. Forcing water this high up takes extreme pressure, which could make the pipes explode. So engineers pump the water up in stages. First, to a huge reservoir on the 40th floor. Then, to a series of 200,000 gallon tanks until it reaches the top of the building. Then the water simply flows back down under its own weight. Almost a quarter million gallons of water a day pass through the building, enough to keep its inhabitants happy. Fire Protection System Fire is one of the most serious hazards, threatening life slash safety of building occupants as well as causing damages to properties. Fire Fighting System shall be provided for each tower as mentioned below. Automatic Water Sprinkler System for entire development. Wet riser with landing valves for use by fire brigade personnel and automatic fire hose reels for the use of occupant. Clean Agent Fire Suppression System Fire Extinguishers Separate Fire Water Storage of Capacity 228 Meters Superscript 3 shall be provided for each tower to serve each tower with its connected basements and podium spaces. 2 NOS 1 each for each tower to compartment fire protection water storage tanks combined with domestic water storage requirements shall be provided at a level below the roof deck. 7.1 Automatic Sprinkler and Wet Riser System Sprinklers shall be provided throughout the development. Sprinklers shall be designed in accordance with the requirements of NFPA 13 and local civil defense regulations. Separate mains shall be provided for the sprinkler and standpipe flash hose reel systems. Branches shall be taken from the high pressure main with pressure reducing valves installed. From the pressure reducing valves the low pressure side shall cascade down to serve the sprinkler or wet riser branches on each floor. Automatic zone assembly valves shall be provided at each floor and shall report to the fire alarm panel in the event of actuation. The sprinkler system shall be complete with alarm check valve. The following design data shall be used throughout NFPA Ordinary Hazard Group 1 Classification Installation Type Wet type concealed heads with quick response to be used for public areas with suspended ceilings of fried sprinkler heads for car park areas horizontal side wall type sprinkler heads for bedrooms and around stairs and ramps the sprinkler installation shall be connected to the combined fire pump set.
located beside the roof firefighting water storage tank which shall be continuously maintained under pressure. Fusible sprinkler heads shall be provided at intervals per NFPA regulations. In the event of a fire, the heat generated shall cause the fusible element in the adjacent sprinkler head to disintegrate and thus allow water to be discharged onto the fire in the form of a fire spray. At the same time as water is discharged onto the fire, water shall also be allowed to flow to a water turbine which in turn shall operate an alarm gong thus giving an audible alarm that the system has operated. The system shall also be interfaced with the fire alarm panel in order to actuate fire alarm bells in a fire situation. installations for the high rise buildings and super high rise building shall consist of automatic sprinkler, wet riser, dry riser, down plumber, hoses, drenching system, water curtain, yard hydrant, fire extinguisher, fire alarm system, Automatic alarm system, water storage tank and its capacity, the terrace tank and its capacity, fire pumps and the terrace check pumps. See the applicable code which shall be followed wherever the information from NBC 2016 are missing. Those are the following code BSI standard TSE National Fire NFPA Standards and Code LPCB International Fire Code Uniform Fire Code Factory Meter Certification Underwriter Laboratory Certification Indian Standards 12845 and 15015. See water curtain systems are also requirement for the high rise buildings for parking in the area larger than the specified in code. The whole system consists of reserved water tank dedicated fire pumps, valve assemblies, non lethal valves and all other accessories connected to the header and the piping system, water curtains, nozzles and the fire de detection devices. So the water curtain systems shall be provided to protect the spread of fire within the given zone and its size which are duly explained in the code. Number of high rise buildings and the 115 to 100 meter high-rise building. The number of wet risers as per architectural drawings and design as per the recommendation walking distance located near a staircase. What does it mean? It means that there is a given distance which an architect has to consider where the staircases can be provided for the building. Each staircase has to be placed within the 30 meters of the walking distance and those are the areas where the staircases are provided. The internal hydrant pipes are installed and also the pipe routing for the sprinkling systems are taken.
unlike the NFPA standards, our NBC code requirement are a separate riser for the hydrant and hose yield and a separate riser for the sprinkler system. There has to be a compartmentation made where the water curtains are to be provided according to the table explained here. This system what we see over here is showing the header pipes and as per the requirement each riser has to be separately connected to the main header. To proceed further, the requirement for the super high rise buildings that is the 100 meters and above are as following. A yard hydrant system shall be provided in the ring mains Hydrants shall be placed at 45 meter interval. If the difference between the various towers exceed more than 22.5 meter, a separate hydrant system shall be provided for each tower in the intra spaces. The orifice plate has to be provided control the pressure maximum to the 7 bar at any discharge point of the hydrant and it is calibrated through 